Hey y'all, welcome back to The Ranch. I'm Jared Paul, and today we're gonna get to my American Yellowwood, or Kentucky Yellowwood, and River Birch forest planting. I uh, have it divided, some trees, uh, all the River Birch on one side, and the Yellowwoods on the other. And uh, I'm gonna put a path going down the middle. I think there's 11 trees in all, but we'll get all to that. Um, so we're gonna prune it up, take a look at the overall planting. So that's what's coming up on today's episode of Jarhead Bonsai. Alright, so here we have it on your right. These are American or Kentucky Yellowwood. And and on your left, these, and this little guy, these are river birch. Uh, all grown from seed. We're looking at five years now. And last year I pretty much uh, transplanted them and let them grow. Maybe a slight profile pruning. So this year I want to take down the height, uh, see if we have any uh, new growth that needs to go entirely, um, and any cross branching or anything like that that I did not get to before. I'm going to get to. So, and also I want a little pathway to come in here. You know, kind of walking in between the two species of trees. I think that's pretty cool when you enter into a trail or a forest and you have like. All pines to the right and old oaks to the left. I think that's just cool. And then hopefully we'll get a contrast with these um, barks starting to whiten it up over the next couple of years. So why don't I prune first and then we'll do the sand. So I like what I'm talking about. Let's see right here. This branch is coming out and going directly into in between these two. And it's right at the base or the crotch of this main branch and the trunk, so taking that out. Some more of that over here. I've already established my trunk line, so I don't want anything lower. Although that is fun um, when you do have some birches that have some really low branches or even one trunk that's split in three right in the beginning and they all go up together. I do like that. But it's not meant for this one. Get in there a little closer, trying not to pick any of the trunk. These concave pruners are tough with that because you think you're good and then they go in an extra quarter of an inch and you take a chunk out of the trunk. through moving right here on this tree here I have a broken branch a broken branch so either I did that carrying it up or our little friend Stella went around testing the structural integrity of the branches but that's fine they were reaching outside the pot so I'll just nip those off and boom I wanted to show you this so this is where I pruned it the last time and there's one nasty looking little branch up here I believe is dead and it just kind of dies back a couple of times um, and then these branches come off a little bit lower and seem to want to be the leaders. So I will take off this guy first and then we see that this one is kind of our, it's growing not only into, one, only into one of its branches, but also into the trunk on this one. So we'll get rid of that guy entirely. Boom, boom. And this one is just basically growing sideways. So I guess this is gonna be my new leader on this tree and this one here, because that one's not good, so I'll prune that back hard. There's a bud here and bud up top. A little branch, no need for it. And I'm just gonna take these guys back quite a ways as well. There we go. So now I have a theme of the tree, all the trees and the landscape where I'm going back to. 
and I'm just going to follow that theme. I'll let this one be our apex here, going towards the middle of the planting. And I'll take that entirely out. You know, this way, if you have nothing intersecting right now, when it all grows out and looks nice and full, yeah, if they're growing into each other for the season, that's fine, but they didn't start that way. All right, working around to the tallest, not the widest. This is definitely the thickest down here. This one has some nice little surface roots. I am going to take him down quite a bit. Uh, this branch is just too thick for as high as it is, so I'm going to take that out. That leaves us boom and boom. Uh, this one looks, yeah, it looks pretty dead. Yep. All right, so that part would have been dead anyways. Let me climb in there a little bit. So that leaves me this little guy. So there's a bud inside right there. It looks nice reaching from that, and that is verified alive. This has a little bud coming out of its base, so I'd like to assume, yeah, it looked pretty dead. So I'm going to prune that back and let that little bud come out. Here and here. Yep, I'll just prune those back. This guy. Some of these can surprise you. You think, oh, it's dead or oh, it's alive, and then they do or don't bud out. So we'll leave plenty of branch options. That one's a nice singular trunk. Boom, nice tight little branching there. I really like that. All right, moving over to the next tree. Yeah, it's like the, the branches that have life almost have a reddish hue to them. And the ones that seem to have died off, they just have a, you know, a grayish wood color. Let's test this one. This one has a branch coming off of here, so I'll take this part all the way down because it looks dead. Making sure not to clip that other branch. Boom, yes. It was dead underneath. One I could go either way with. Okay, and this one's just reaching a little too high. Boom, boom. We got these tips. This one's a little close to here, but since this already kicked off some branches that died and these are weak, I'm going to leave this one just in case. I have to prune this thicker one all the way down and this bad boy will take over. So I'm just gonna nip that one. Moving right around. Follow that height. I'm spotting the buds and I'm cutting between, halfway between the, the bud I'm cutting off and the one that I'm keeping. These should be pretty active, so there shouldn't really be any dieback, especially on the dead pieces. Um, <laughs> this one wants to grow back towards the other plantings. Oh, there she's whining. That means it's the delivery or mommy and Stella are home. Okay, so let's finish the birches. So this one has, you can tell, I just let him grow last year. Look at that terrible crisscross. Uh, so I'm going to prune off this side but not all the way down, I'm leaving it a little bit in case it wants to sprout a little bud because this is not that much thicker. So if this side kicks off a bud and I just prune this one back like so, maybe it could be a nice little twin, twin trunk there with a low split. All right, and the last birch here, this one has a nice little shway to it. This interior branch doesn't look too healthy. I would take it way down anyway, so let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty much dead, so we'll just remove that so it's not a part of my plan. 
All right, it looks a little alive down there. So if something was to sprout out there, I would, I would let it go. Coming across the top. Um, I think these might be dead. And definitely this part's alive. Dead. Yeah. All right, so you don't really, I work with so many different species and definitely not that often with this one. So I'm learning kind of its standard as I'm going here. Okay, this one wants to come up and then its healthy side is going back across the middle and this nice branch is coming up here so I have to make a decision which one I'd like better. And since I already have some nice growth on this branch here, um, I'm going to take this whole side out. Boom. Yeah, so now both are coming up and flowing that way. That makes more sense to me. Go to height there. There. This one's dead. Yep. This one down a little more. Okay, so now looking in, you have river birches to your right. This is the back of the planting, so river birches to your left. This would be your entryway of the path, and now we've got the American yellow woods to mess with over here. So they have much less branching, so let's go way faster. So we have growth down here, I let it go taking it out. Don't want to get an unnecessary bulge because these are already split into two pretty cool branches that crisscross early on so I like that. That's pretty cool and I'm going to take these way down this year. Um, I really just let them go because they were weak after repotting or maybe they got some insect issues at one point. I can't really remember. These Kentucky Yellow woods are definitely a new species to me. They're definitely uh, not, I should say definitely more. Anyways, <laughs> they're not indigenous to Connecticut, so I can't even say I've really seen one before, except for the picture when I was buying seed. This one's really skinny, just a single little trunk here. Take that back. Boom. Quick. Right. Let's just make sure the camera's still on. We're good to go. And oh, so this is also this might be a yellow wood. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Let's try to keep that up. Get some pebbles down on its base. I don't even know if that one's going to survive. That is such a little run. And let's see. She's got a couple of nasty little crisscrosses up here. And up the tip. And hopefully that one will come back. All right. So back to our front. Let's go with an entryway here, kind of comes into the right, from the right, behind that first yellow wood. One to the left. Oh. So this obviously needs to be touched up a few times a season with the sand if you're doing any landscape. I'm pretty bad with that. I'm, I'm excited if I you know, do all, like get to watering and all those things. Uh, so if I keep up with my landscapes, it's usually about once a year it's gonna look good. And then I try not to water onto the sand when I'm watering because that really busts it up and it runs off. 
pulling a bit of moss off this back tree. It's going up the trunk, and I need a little room for my sand. So I get the sand and the moss in the same location across the street. You don't have to pay for this stuff. If you just pay attention when you're out and about, there's plenty. All right. I know, I'll probably need to gather a little bit more sand, but that's the general idea there. Cool. Let's take a look. Closer. Oh yeah, I'm really excited to see this one bud out this year. Nice assortment of trees and different trunks and they're, nice, they're starting to thicken up. Might have to add a little soil here. I like these top roots going up above the surface, but it must have been under a gutter or something. So some more roots are exposed. I'm gonna get that covered up with some moss. I'm looking around like I could just grab some, but they're all in other plantings, as you see. All right, so next up on the next video, like tomorrow, will be this redwood, Japanese Zelkova, and I believe there's two dead sequoias in there. So, one little spin going out. I love that quartz in the back. Very dense with quartz. The earth here in Connecticut. So it's very easy to find them on trails. Cool. All right, y'all. So that's going to do it for today's episode of Jarhead Bonsai. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. Uh, pruning up that river birch and yellowwood forest. That was my first time since it's been a planting together. So that was a lot of fun. So I'll keep you posted on its progress. Plenty more to come here at the ranch. And I'm Jared Paul from My Family of Yours. Cheers.